Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. <laughs> I'm just getting myself back into the position so that I can do a jibe again. I can't believe, cannot believe how many times I cocked that up last time. Let's do a jibe. Turn right to reach 135 TWA left at 10 knots. Let's do it. 135 is round about there-ish. The procedure for the jibe is the same as the tax. Press swap helm, wait for automatic tanker board, and then do it. Let's do it. Stand by jibe. Good, now wait for the automatic tanker board to drop and then initiate the turn. Board down. And jibing. Jibing is much faster than tacking. Oh gosh, yes. Because, because well obviously, we're not losing the, um, the wind. We still have wind. That's why it's... Why are we going so slow, then? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Skipper, you've just completed your first jibe. Now let's bring the JX50 back. Jibe left to take us back to 135 TWA left. Stand by, guys. Board down. Driving. Let's do it better this time. Board up. Come on, speed. Come on, speed. Speed! Finally. Good stuff, Skipper. You're almost ready for some racing. Now turn left into the wind and stop the boat so the shore crew can come and pick us up. It's going to be intense racing once once I get used to doing it. Tutorial complete. Be proud of yourself. It was a good day on the water and you did great. Listen, I'm not being funny. I don't mind going back and having to do a tutorial again. But maybe just take me back as far as the jibe. Not all the way back to the beginning of the, um, the tack. Because that just seemed incredibly unnecessary. <laughs> Sailing the windward and leeward course. Let's do it. That's basically up and down wind. Up and down, up and down wind? Uh huh. Up and down wind. Up and down the course. Um, bear with me one second. I'm just going to upload as this video uh, because I want you guys to be able to see some stuff before the game launches if possible. Oh, which one is it? Uh, oh, bear with me. Okay, sorry about that little distraction. Let's jump back in. Tutorial number four, sailing the windward and leeward course. In this tutorial, we will say one of the most popular and simple courses in foiling the windward leeward gate, of course. Course, rather, not of course. A gate is an imaginary line between two buoys. A more generic word for gate is mark. A mark can be a gate, but also a single buoy to turn around. To clear a gate, you need to pass between the buoys and then exit from the sides. You can choose either side of the gate as an exit. For this tutorial, I have enabled the assists, auto sails, auto helm swap, and auto dagger boards. This course is defined by two gates, the top gate and the bottom gate, which is what we will start from. Press sail to begin. This course is defined by two gates, the top gate and the bottom gate, which is what we will start from. Yeah, okay. So we're at the bottom gate. We're going up to the top gate. 
So we're going to go through here, through here, round the mark, and back to the bottom gate, I think. A sailing race is composed of legs. A leg is a section of a race delimited by two marks. In this tutorial, we'll have to complete five legs. Because the first gate is directly upwind, our starting position, we cannot sail straight to that. We will have to zigzag our way to it. We will sail at a TWA 45 degrees until attack will put us on course to clear the gate. We will clear the gate on the left side and head downwind for leg two. Midway through it, we will have to jibe and then proceed to clear the bottom gate, rounding the right buoy to head back upwind for leg three. So we're going to get sail up, sail in, sail back down. And then presumably up to the mark, I don't know. One of the most important indicators in the HUD is the next mark indicator. Coloured green and pointing in the direction of the next mark in your race. Okay, yeah, that is important. First gate is on our right. Turn the boat right and accelerate past the mark gate. Let's do it, boys. Speed up. Gate one. Got a little map up in the top left hand corner making life a lot easier. We're through mark gate one. Well done. Now continue on this course on the TWA 45 degrees left until the next mark indicator. It's roughly 90 degrees on our left. Tutorial failed. You did not follow the indicated course. Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't do nothing of the nothingness. It's because I wasn't doing 45 degrees. Okay, I think I think like the tutorial is a little bit. OTT, just a, just a smidgeroonio in your face, trying to annoy you, styly. We'll turn and we'll hold 45 degrees. We're just trying to get a bit of pace up. Come on. There we go. Forty-five degrees. See how, see how unnecessarily grumpy it was. <laughs> so we're going to have to tack, which means we're going to have to tack properly. None of this cheating rubbish. Next mark gate is almost 90 degrees to our left. We're going to tack soon. Remember the procedure? Jason, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, let's go, let's go. Stand by tech. Yep, I'm just Hold about down. to. Tacking. Good lord, this, the tutorial is aggressive. Well done, Mark 8 2 should now be right in front of us. Stay on course and go through the game. Board up. Trying to. You're making me take my hand off the mouse in order to hit the enter button. We're about to pass through mark gate 2. Keep close to the yellow boy on the left, but do not hit it. That would cost us a penalty and a failure in the tutorial, like last year, 2022, where a penalty... It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll move on. After the mark, we will turn left and head downwind back for our next leg. Since we are not passing through the wind, this is not a tack nor a jibe. Just slowly bring the boat left. Good job, we made it through Mark Gate 2. Now it's time to head back downwind for our next leg. You could use the radar on the top left of the screen to better understand your position on the course and where you are supposed to go. 
Turn left to reach TWA uh, 35, 135 degrees. <laughs> Proceed on this course until the next mark indicator is 90 degrees left. Wait for my signal to begin the jibe manoeuvre. Ah, oh, hang on a minute. It said we're not changing wind so you don't have to drop the dagger board. You failed to drop the dagger board before turning. Tutorial failed. Tutorial will restart. Hang on a minute. I thought the dagger boards were automatic. Am I going insane? Am I going insane? Let's try again. Okay. It's a tad frustrating. You keep getting it wrong. Right. Turn. 45 degrees. Let's get it going, guys. Down. You do not follow the indicated course. What? I'm turning it now. Board up. Okay, the tutorial is annoying the living daylights out of me. I'm not going to lie. Almost to the point where I don't want to do the tutorials anymore. Right, come on. So I pressed the spacebar button and it just it just swapped immediately. I don't know why. What it's meant to do is say like prepare for the tack. But for some reason it just swapped immediately. I'm quite sure what happened there. I tell you what, <laughs> it feels like I'm being tutored by Ben Ainsley himself. Do you know what I mean? Any slight mistake, and you'll just tear your head off. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Right, next mark gate is almost 90 degrees to our left. We're going to tax soon. Remember the procedure. Wait for my signal to begin. Oh, okay. That's what I didn't do. I didn't wait for your signal. Your emperor. Tack now. Stand by tack. Tacking. Ah! So I'm allowed to start the tack, prepare the tack, but not actually do the tack. Board down. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Let's do this. Incredibly frustrating. Where's my dude? Gonna smash it out of the park this time. Yeah, we're we'll through the gate. What on us. So I'm gonna stay well away from that 45 degrees because I don't want the game to think that I'm turning before I've been told to turn. That would be horrendous. Yeah. 
Hold up. Oh my god, it's so awkward. It's not that I'm not doing it, it's that I'm not doing it in exactly the the way it wants me to do it. Board down. Board up. So I must have just really luckily got it exactly right the first time I did it. And now I can't seem to follow instructions properly. So when he says it's nearly time, I think that's when I'll press the space bar. It gets a bit daft. It's far too aggressive, I think. Far too rigid. Not enough flexibility. Why are we going so slowly? Because I haven't pressed this. My bad. I failed. <laughs> what did I do wrong that time? Jesus, come on, get on course. This time, please God, please God, this time. Yes. Stand by for the tack. Stand by for Board the down. tack. Tack now. Tack it. That was a good tack, gentlemen. Board up. Right, I'm heading towards gate two, as instructed. We're about to pass through mark gate two. Keep close to the yellow boy on the left, but don't hit it. That would cost us a penalty. After the mark, we will turn left and head downwind back for our next leg. Since we're not passing through the wind, it's not a tack nor a jibe. Just slowly bring the boat left. See? That's what I did. It's supposed to be automatic. Good job, we made it through Mark Gate 2. It's now time to head back downwind for our next leg. You can use the radar uh, to better understand your position and where you're supposed to go. Turn left to reach TWA 135 degrees right. Maybe I just went slightly over 130 degrees. Maybe that's all it was. Proceed on this course until the next mark indicator is 90 degrees left. Do not go past that marker because the whole tutorial will start again. Stand by, Jibe. Here we go. Jibe to the left. Board right down. down. No! It was just coming down oh my god need you be such a douchebag why do you have to be so precise game there is no need for it seriously overdoing it board up i want to be as good as the next guy but i mean come on at least let me practice get up there get up there get up there get up there 
come on, if we're not exactly 45 degrees, it will start the tutorial again. Okay, it's good speed, good speed, good line. Keep it up, lads. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put all of this on voice attack so I don't have to press any buttons. That's what I'm going to do. We'll just, I'll just steer and shout out commands. I'll continue on this course. We know how to do this now. We know how to beat the tutorial. <laughs> that just seems ridiculous to say. Like a dictator, this tutorial. It's insane. Stand by, tech. Stand by, lads. And board down. Boards down. Tack now. Tacking. Good stuff, lads. Board Stay up. focused. Nice and close to that yellow thing. Good speed, good speed. 16 knots, let's do it. Come on. 16k, sorry, 16k. Turning. 135 degrees, but not more, certainly not more. Stand by drive. Get ready to drive, lads. Board down. Board's down. Drive left now. And driving. The bottom mark should now be in front of us. Let's go through it. As we, as soon as we're through, turn left and head upwind again. You'll have to complete another lap around the course. I will not interrupt you or correct you this time. Thank goodness for that. Let me cock it up myself. Let me cock it up the way I want to. Got some good speed here, lads. Sixteen. 16k. Oh, that was close. What did you just say to me? You failed to drop the dagger board before turning. Tutorial failed. Tutorial will restart. That is not what we agreed on. Plus, I did not go past 45 degrees. So... Stick it up, you flipping jumper. Um, fucking unbelievable. That was a perfect turn. There's no need for dropping the board or anything. Absolutely smashed it out of the park there. I mean, totally, totally, totally being a complete douchebag. Plus, you said you wouldn't correct me, which you again lied about. Unbelievable! I never, I've never known a tutorial like it. This tutorial is going to make me punch my own monitor. It's, it's ridiculous. Stand by attack. Stand by attack, lads. Ward down. Ward's down. 
Attacking. Attacking. Board up. Come on, lads. Good attack. Let's get some speed. Let's get that 16 knots we want. Absolutely beautiful. Right, we're going to turn left for a 135 degree. But not more. Certainly not more. Because more would be, like, impossible to deal with. Whoa, that was very close. Stand by, Jive. Stand by, Jive, lads. Board down. Board's down. It's just a Jive. Jiving. To the left. And then attack to the right. Board up. I, I will not interrupt or correct you this time. You lying son of a bitch. I know for a fact you can't help yourself. Sixteen. Sixteen is good lads, we want sixteen. We like sixteen. I don't know what to tell you. It's bugged. I'm leaving this one. I've had enough. Getting on my bloody nerves. It's going to kick me out the entire game. <laughs> I thought it was then. Right, course boundaries. Let's find out about course boundaries. Tutorial number five, course boundaries. In this tutorial, we will introduce you to the concept of course boundaries, a set of imaginary walls delimiting the race course. Okay. Auto sales, auto dagger boards, auto swap help assist have been enabled. In all previous tutorials, we were able to sail in open sea wherever we wanted. In tutorial four, you have sailed the windward leeward course and you could complete the course with only one tack and one jibe per leg. In this tutorial, the course will be inside a set of boundaries and they will force us to manoeuvre more often. In hydrofoil, generation boundaries are easy to see because they appear as transparent walls in the 3D scene. They are also clearly indicated on the radar. Touching a boundary with your boat will cost you a penalty and a failure in this tutorial. We will sail upwind first. The first gate is on your right. Rotate and accelerate the boat to pass through mark gate 1. Use the next mark indicator in the HUD and the radar to understand your position Board on the up. course. Okay. Let's do it, lads. Wind in the sails and let's get moving. I'm sure at 45 degrees or more, or otherwise we'll have to start again. Well done. Now proceed on this course until the boundary is approaching. Wait for my signal to initiate the tack. I will give the signal when we are quite close to the boundary, so be prepared. I need to be prepared, so... I'll get everyone ready before we reach the uh, the boundary. Because when he says turn, I better bloody turn or we're starting again. Stand by tech. Board down. 
checking. I did that at exactly the right time, I'd say. Good, Mark 8-2 is too far upwind for us to sail there. We will have to sail around TWA 45 degrees to the next boundary. Then we will turn again. Board up. I did not follow the indicated course. What are you talking about? It's very difficult to correct my steering when this keeps popping up all the time, stopping me from doing what I'm trying to do. Okay. We understand boundaries, okay? First flight, let's do it. I'm, I'm finding those tutorials quite irritating. And, and I know what I'm doing. Imagine somebody who's got absolutely no idea how to do this. They are going to be pulling their teeth out through their head. Welcome to flight school, Skipper. In this tutorial, we're going to see what the JX-50 foiling catamaran is really capable of. We're going to take off. Um... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Traditional boats use buoyancy to stay afloat. They dissipate water in order to generate the necessary upward force to stay afloat. We call this mode of operation displacement mode. In foiling, we use hydrofoils and speed to generate the necessary force to keep us above the water. Hydrofoils are like wings on an aeroplane, but they work underwater, and just like an aeroplane wing, they need speed in order to generate forces. An airplane needs to accelerate on the ground before it's fast enough to take off. Foiling boats work the same way. Once the hull of the boat is out of the water, we will experience a dramatic reduction in drag, which will, in turn, uh, in turn, a steep increase of speed. During the previous tutorials, we struggled to get close to 20 knots of speed. You will see how, once we raise the hulls, the water speeds will easily go by 40 knots to close to 50, even up to 60. I've seen 60. I'm sure, I swear to God, I've seen 78 at one point. I could be imagining this. Where a unique effect called cavitation will start to slow us down. The speed we need to reach before the foils have just enough force to lift the hulls out of the water is called takeoff speed. On the JX50 with the D5-4 configuration is around about 15 knots. Before we start, please notice that in addition to the usual auto sails, auto helm and dagger boards, I've also enabled auto foils and auto setup. While auto foils will fly the boat automatically, auto setup will change the configuration of the sails, wing and runners on the JX50 in hydrofoil generation. We can call a preset of these settings a setup. It allows the player to change a lot of parameters with one button press. Auto setup will switch to the preset, more appropriate given to our TWA. When racing a foiling bloat, your initial objective is very simple. Get to the takeoff speed as quickly as possible. Once foiling, you will be going at three or four times the speed of non-foiling boats. So the priority has to be to get the boat flying before anything else. As we saw in previous tutorials, TWA to get the maximum speed is around 90 degrees. Let's start by turning the boat right until we get to 90 Order. degrees. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, it's very wordy, isn't it? Very wordy. Get her up, let's get her up, let's get her up. Good, foiling with auto foil is extremely simple. Just accelerate to 15 knots and watch the AI flight controller take us up. The speed will increase dramatically. With more speed, the runners will get much more sensitive than what you have experienced. At low speed, be smooth and gentle. Keep us on a T TWA 90 degree and hit 35 knots. Here we go. Hear the sound change. Yeah, welcome to the world of foiling, Skipper. We're at 35 knots flying over the water. The noise of the hull crashing into the waves is gone, and we're left with the whistling noise of the foils. The first method is to use the big vertical sliders in the HUD. In front of you, you have two big sliders. Usually you see only one, and it's showing the depth of the daggerboard foil we have currently in the water. The smaller slider below shows the depth of the rudder's foils. When a foil gets dangerously close to the surface, the slider will turn red. This means you're about to crash the boat in the water, or worse, start uh, kick-starting a series of events that might capsize the boat, ending your race. The second method is to watch the foil in the water. Oh, wow. It has a, uh, lines painted on it to help us understand how much of the foil is out of the water and give us a reference to find our ideal height over the water. The AI-powered auto foils assist is doing all the work for us, but in the future you will have to learn to foil the boat and control the flight height yourself. Always remember, hydrofoil generations assist are designed to help you start with the game, not to be fast. To win races at the highest level, you'll have to fly and sail the boat yourself. Now it's time to experience how foiling feels at different points of sail. Let's head upwind, set 
up on TWA 45 left. Feel the boat going upwind. Auto setup will switch our settings to an upwind configuration. Keep the boat on course for 20 seconds. Uh, okay. See how quickly that turned. I barely, t I barely turned the wheel. Looking good. Perfect. Much faster than the displacement mode, isn't it? Now let's bear away and go downwind to TWA 135 left. Be smooth, act gentle, rotating the boat downwind. Make our speed jump and go the high to the highest today. Keep the boat downwind for 20 seconds. Uh huh. Okay. Flying, baby. Very good job. Finally, let's see how you stop a foiling boat. Head into the wind and reduce your sail trim to zero. Same as usual, though, basically. Oh, that was nice. I like how it dropped back in the water. That was cool. Awesome job, Skipper. You made it through first foiling day successfully. Awesome. Right, I'm going to I'm going to wrap this one up because that's like 30 minutes and there was a lot of fighting with the tutorial there. Um, obviously, I'm going to put a review together on this and I'll highlight how insanely aggressive the tutorial is. Hopefully, they'll tweak that so it's a bit more forgiving, especially for beginners. I mean, goodness me. Um foiling tacks and jibes is going to be next foiling the windward leeward course so we're probably it's probably going to take another two uh videos to get through all the tutorials so maybe we'll have a look at well we're going to need to learn how to manually do all this stuff anyway all right well we'll just keep pressing on until we get where we want to be thanks for watching bye for now